All right, here's a fun little area question for you. We gotta figure out the area of this shaded region of the overall shape. It's important that we go up and read what they tell us about the shape because there's some important details there. All quadrilaterals in the shape are squares. Well, what do we know about squares? Squares have all equal sides. So if this right here is a quadrilateral, this right here is a quadrilateral, this is a quadrilateral, and then our big shape that makes it all is also a quadrilateral. They all have to be squares, which means if this is eight here, down here we know that this is also going to be eight units long. And if this is two units long, and that's a square, then this right here has to also be two units long. Now, let's talk about eight plus two. Eight plus two makes the entire side of this square, which be 10. And if that's 10 units, to make this a square, the big shape, then this would have to also be 10 units. So we've got eight, what are we missing right here? That's right, we are missing a two. So that's a two, making this side here a two. And now that we've got all of our measurements, we've got a 10 by 10 for the total. So let's find the area of that big square that we're dealing with, 10 by 10. 10 times 10 makes 100 square units. So the big shape, the big square, is 100 units squared, okay? We've got this one, which is a two by two, that'd be four units squared. We've got this, which is a two by two, that's also four units squared. And then eight times eight would give me 64 units squared. So we've got four, four, and 64 for a total of 64 plus four makes 68, plus four makes 72, so we got 72 units in the small square, the other small square, and then the medium sized square. Okay, so if you were to add all those up, we get 60, 72 units squared. Our big square, the total was 100. So we have 100, now if we remove this amount, remove this amount, remove this amount, this is what's left over. So all we gotta do is take these three values, add them together, we made 72, subtract them from the total, and we're gonna be left with 28 units squared for the shaded region. So if you're asked what's the shaded region of this shape, you would say it is 28 units squared. Hopefully that makes sense. Study hard and good luck on your upcoming test.